If your glutes are tight and painful, I want to show you how to fix it. Because a lot of times what we see is tightness here in the back of the hip will actually creep up into the lower back as well and cause stiffness and pain in this area. And so if we can get the hips moving a little bit better, if we can decrease the tension in those glutes, a lot of times that will take care of the tension and pain that you might be experiencing in your lower back as well. These are the best exercises to do that, coming at you right now. Let's get started with a double knee to chest stretch, but we're gonna make it a little more effective by making it dynamic. So you're gonna lay down on your back with both of your knees bent. Now with your hands, you're gonna grab your knees and pull them up towards your chest just until we get some clearance, your pelvis off of the floor or until your tailbone clears off of the floor. And I love that stretch. That's a great way to get into some good hip flexion to stretch those glutes out. But as soon as that tailbone comes up off the floor, that's a really great stretch to your lower back. Now, if that feels comfortable, you can hold it right there and do it that way. What I like to tell people is that we can, in this position, kind of move the knees around. So side to side, pull them up a little higher, down a little lower, and you can kind of vary where you feel that stretch by which direction you pull. So if I pull my knees over here to the left, that's a little more in the right glute and in the right hip, and then the left would be the opposite. So you can kind of find the spot where you're like, oh man, yeah, that's where it feels the tightest. I really need to stretch right there, and we can hold it right there for a little bit longer. What I recommend is about 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, and then you can repeat that three times. So about a minute worth of stretching. The next thing that I love to do is gonna be a single knee to chest stretch. So if I'm gonna stretch my left hip out, I'm gonna extend my right leg. That kind of keeps the pelvis down and focuses, more, focuses the stretch more in the glute itself. Now I'm gonna bring this left knee up towards me, give it a big hug, and I can pull it straight into my left shoulder, but what I really prefer is let's take that left knee and pull it over to the opposite shoulder. So I'm gonna kind of bias the stretch across my body, pull my knee across my body, and what I really feel there, that's a really good stretch deep in that glute that kind of gets a little of the piriformis involved as we pull over and across the body. Hold it in a comfortable position for about 20 seconds and then repeat that one three times. Now the next stretch is for that piriformis muscle. This is one of your little deep hip rotators. It sits deep to your hip, but when it gets tight, man, that can cause a lot of pain and discomfort back there. This is how we stretch it out. Um, if I was gonna stretch my right piriformis, I'm gonna lay on my back with both knees bent. I'm going to cross my right leg over my left knee. Now with both of my hands, I'm going to grab behind my left knee and then pull that left knee up and towards my chest, just until I get a good, comfortable stretch right in that right deep hip area. Same thing, 20 seconds, three times is a great number to shoot for. Um, now I realize that um, a lot of times it's not convenient to lay down on the ground to do these stretches. So if you're at work, if you've got some tightness in the glutes, you can also do that stretch seated in a chair as well. What I would do is just cross the right leg over the left. Now in this position, we can do a couple of things. I can fold forward. And if I fold forward, that introduces a little more rotation in my hip. You're gonna feel more of a stretch like that. I can bias it, like if I take my torso and fold forward towards my knee, I feel that one a little bit more, a little bit different spot. The other option that you can do is with your hands, grab your shin, grab your knee, and then you can just kind of pull that leg towards you a little bit more. And then again, kind of play with the angle. You can kind of pull it this way, you can pull it that way, just to vary where you feel that stretch. But that's a really great option, like I said, if you're at work or if you're seated somewhere, if it's, if it's painful and if you can't lay down on the ground, that's a really great option to still get that stretch in. Same numbers would apply, 20 seconds and repeat that three times. Now, if you've got some relief from the stretches so far, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button down below this video. Basically, that tells YouTube it's a good video and then they show it to more people who feel like you do and we can help more people out that way. So thanks so much for doing that. Now, stretching is a great way to eliminate tightness. But a lot of times tightness in the back of the hips is caused by weakness. And so if we want tightness to stay away, we do need to introduce some strengthening. Here are three of my favorite exercises to do that. The first one's gonna be a clamshell. So you're gonna lay down on your side, both knees bent with the tight hip up. And so this is gonna work my right hip. If it's tight in both hips, obviously we're gonna do this on both sides. 
Keep your feet together, and then what we're gonna do is pull your knees apart, raise that top knee up towards the ceiling, rotate at your hip, hold one, two, and then slowly return back down to that starting position. So up we go, and then right back down. This is a great way we can work a lot of those glute muscles, especially that piriformis in there, that little hip rotator. This is a great exercise to strengthen that area, help it to reset, to release, and alleviate some of that tension in there. And usually people can tolerate a few more reps on this, 15 to 20 reps three times on each side is a good number to shoot for. Next, we're gonna move into the glute med group. So glute med and glute min, kind of right up here on the top of the hip. I'm gonna stay here on my left side, except now I'm going to extend my right leg. This is going to be a side-lying abduction. In this position, I wanna contract the muscles right here on the top of my hip to raise my heel up towards the ceiling and then slowly return right back down. Again, we're trying to feel that right here, kind of even in the back of the hip. The mistake that I see is people will let their hips rock backwards and then they'll lead with their toe, turning it into a hip flexor exercise. So if you feel it here, what I need you to do is push your hips forward, stack those hips right on top of each other, and then focus on leading with your heel and pulling it kind of towards the wall back behind you. And you're really gonna feel that right up here in the glute group. And on this one, about 10 to 15 reps, repeated three times on both sides. And then the last exercise is going to be a variation on a bridge. We call this a frog bridge. What I'm going to do is lay down on my back. I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together, but then let my knees fall out wide. And so we get into this kind of abducted, externally rotated position. Now what I'm gonna do is fire these glutes, contract the glute muscles, and raise those up towards the ceiling, hold one, two, and then come right back down. It's just a little bit different variation on a bridge that causes those glute muscles to contract just a little bit harder as we're up at the top. We can kind of get this rotated position and we can enhance that contraction right up there at the top. And most people are really tolerant towards this one as well. 15 to 20 reps repeated three times is a great number to shoot for. If you want more help with your tight hips, check out this video right here. Subscribe to Tone and Titan by hitting the circle right here. Hope this helps. Hope to see you again soon.